Okay. So we're going to start with a new part. And the first thing that we do is save the part. Save as. And this is going to be um, creating holes. Uh, <clears throat> yours is going to be in the intro to Autodesk folder. Okay, I'm putting it in period one. So I'm going to hit save, creating holes. And we're going to start a new 2D sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to click on my scroll button to move quadrant one down and start a rectangle. And this is going to be from zero, zero. So make sure it starts from zero, zero. That's really important for later on. So zero, zero. I'm going to drag this out. 10.0. Tab. 10.0. Enter. Escape. Home. Front. Zoom in a little bit. Move it over. So this is a 10 by 10 square. That is what we want. So we're going to leave that there. We're going to hit finish sketch. Home. Extrude. We'll extrude it to one inch. So we'll just keep it like that. And then I am going to change the material to some type of steel. So I'm going to go down to S's and we'll do stainless steel. So I click the up arrow. I'll close this. And you'll notice like if you move this around, it's kind of shiny. So it's a piece of metal. I'm going to click home. Make sure you click home for this next part. Now we're going to start a new sketch on the front of this. So start 2D sketch on the front. And notice you can see that it's built directly from 0, 0. So this point right here on the XY coordinate plane would be 10, 10, right? This would be 0, 10, and then this would be 10, 0. I am going to, first I'll punch a hole through the center using circle. So um, because we have an XY coordinate system, we can find the center of this object. If it's 10 by 10, we know that the center is 5 on the X, 5 on the Y. So 5.0, tab, 5.0, enter. And it starts creating a circle directly in the center of this object. Make the diameter 2.0, and then hit enter. Escape, finish sketch, extrude. And then there's two ways to create a hole. You can take the gold arrow, you can push it through the object like that, or you can, this is the default, is direction one. If you do direction two, and I think it's kind of started off like that, around one inch. If you just click direction two, it's gonna punch it through the other side. So I'm gonna click okay. And you'll notice now that you have a hole through this object, right? So clicking on home again. Circles aren't the only thing um, you can create holes with. Um, you can do it with other objects. So if I, or sorry, other, um, other types of like polygons or uh, rectangles, which are polygons, but we'll, um, we'll start another sketch and we'll use a different shape to punch a hole through this. So we'll click on the front face again, drag this down. This time, let's use the polygon tool. And I'm using the polygon tools because I want you to notice that we can't, like the circle, we could choose coordinates with the polygon tool, we can't. So if I hover over the center here, is that working? I can see, there it is. So that's the center. If I drag that up, you can see a dotted line. And then maybe like three quarters of the way up our entire square, start creating a hexagon. And you can see that, uh, in order, let's try and make this thing straight. So you can see those lines, as soon as the lines are straight on the left and the right, you can click, finish sketch, and then again, you can extrude, you can push that through or click direction two and click OK. So now we have a circle and a hexagon punched through this. Uh, and then I'm going to show you another way to create holes. And this one, I think is it's a little more important because you can create multiple holes at one time. So. Uh, I am going to click on Start 2D Sketch, click on the face again, so now we have 
multiple sketches with multiple extrusions over here that you can see on the side. This time we're going to use point. So anywhere you put a point, it's going to create a hole. So if I put something there, if I click, it's going to end up creating a hole there. So make sure that you're not putting random points in places where you don't want them to be. If that's the case, you hit escape, you can always right click them and delete them. Okay. So back to point. I'll leave that random one there so that you can see what it does. So I want to create holes one inch by one inch in from the corners. So I have to figure out what those coordinates are. So this one would be, this one's easier because if that's zero, zero, and I want to go up one over one, then I'm going to hit tab 1.0 on the Y, sorry, the X, tab 1.0, enter. And then this one, if I'm going to go one in, one over, if that's 10, then on the Y it should be nine, and on the X it should be one, so 1.0 and then 9.0. This one, if that's 10, 10, then going in one inch both sides, that would be 9.0, tab 9, sorry, 9.0, tab 9.0, enter. And then if that's 10, 0, then if I go here, it should be 9 on the X, so tab, 9 on the X, and then 1 on the Y, it already says that, so I'm going to hit enter. Got it. I hit escape. Finish sketch. This time I'm going to choose hole, and then I have this menu show up. And then notice that it, so it starts, uh, it's punching a hole through every single one of those points, even the random one that I put there, right? Um, I think if you, so you can't just unclick on one. But if for some reason you just see the points there, you can click on specific ones and then it'll create holes there. So let's just start by just trying to create um, holes for each one of these points. So let's make the diameter one, or sorry, 0 0.5, so half an inch. So you can see how they got a little bit larger. And we're just going to keep it a simple hole for now. And through all means that it's going completely through the object. It's possible you can tell it to go a certain distance through the object. But for right now, let's make it go all the way through because that's what we've been doing. Um, 0 0.5, click OK. And then you should notice, yeah, you have holes through every single one of those. So rather than choosing circle and having to create sketches and circles for each one, you just create the points, then you click hole and it's gonna punch a hole through each one of those. And then later on, like if for some reason, like you need to thread in there, like if you were gonna put something through there. <clears throat> Computer's just lagging a little bit here. Come on. Sorry. Got a little messed up. So thread. And if we choose one of these, see how when I go over and hover over that hole, it's going to create threads. I can click and hit apply. It's going to create threads through that entire hole. Notice how my other one, I didn't choose threads for that, so there's no threads, well, no threads for now, unless I put that over there. But if I hit cancel, there's not going to be any thread there. So when you have this object, you can raise your hands, um, put it in the home position so I can see it from there, and then um, and you're finished. You hit save, and we're done.